There are two ways you can do an edge search. The first of them is very easy. You start off from behind the material and what you're going to do is you're going to pull and for the next stitch you're just going to move a stitch forward, let's say a quarter, like so, in front of your previous stitch. Like so. And you do the same thing again and again and again. This is supposed to prevent the edge from fraying. Now, I'm not really a big fan of hand surging because by the time you have been surging at the seam, because you have been moving it in your hand so many times, what's going to happen is it's inevitably going to fray. I do prefer a very nice, neat overlock to any of this nonsense. There is another way you can do this, and this one is slightly better, but then again, very time consuming, and it just does exactly what an overlock would do, just not as well. And that's like the following. So you go forward to where your stitch came out, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take both of the threads that are coming out of the eye of the needle and wrap them counterclockwise over the needle and then you're going to pull and as you're going to pull you're going to pull towards the direction of the edge so like that don't pull it up or sideways just pull it straight 90 degrees up to the raw edge then for the next stitch you're going to repeat this is also called a blanket stitch so again whoops counterclockwise over the needle like that and you're going to pull towards the edge like that in the same direction don't pull too tight because it's going to draw everything together again needle in right in front there counterclockwise you take both threads coming out of the eye of the needle you go over the needle and you're going to pull up towards the edge like that so let's do this a few times By the time you've done a couple of stitches, you'll notice that there are loops around each stitch. So you have thread on the sides and you have a thread right on the edge. Obviously, this is so much better than this, but if you have access to an overlocker, I mean, domestic overlockers are not that expensive. And if you know how to set them up, they can be as good as an industrial one. So you don't need to spend like you know, thousands of pounds for an overlocker. But if you really feel you need to like surge an edge and you want to do it by hand uh, for whatever reason, then I would say the blanket stitch is the better one between the two. So now you know how to do an edge surge.